Oh my gosh, what is happening? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. What's up everybody? I'm Kelsey of K. I'm single. So I thought it would be funny if I tried the millionaire gold digger challenge. It's a challenge of the Sims 4 where you have one gold digger and their goal is to make 1 million simoleons only by marrying other Sims. There's a couple other rules if you're interested in those, I will put them below. Uh, last time we divorced Diego and we became boyfriend, girlfriend, with Alexander Goth. Is that his name? Mortimer Goth. <laughs> Is it Alexander Goth the child? Ooh. We became boyfriend girlfriend with Mortimer Groth, who has very questionable taste. I was debating whether or not we should move in, but a couple of you said that you really do want her to move into the goth household because it is so ridiculous. So we're gonna move into the goth household today, maybe propose. I wanna have a grotesque wedding, a, like a disgustingly ridiculous wedding. So that's what we're gonna do because she hasn't had a really fancy wedding yet. So to marry Mortimer, I think she's ready to have something gothic. I I don't know. Maybe she'll go through like a different phase because she's dating Mortimer Goth and she'll kind of like, <gasps> maybe she'll just take on uh, qualities of all of her different husbands every time she's married to someone new because honestly, a lot of people do that. I used to do that. And uh, that's probably why I've been single for so long is I had to figure out my own personality. <laughs> maybe we cut that. That was a little personal. <laughs> So anyway, let's jump into the Lobo apartment since she's still living. She's still living with her ex, technically. I feel like we should be moving out soon. So let's, let's jump in. All right, so we're back. This is a little Cash and Peach Schmay. He is her firstborn child. And then this is Chanel Lobo, our second born child, daughter of Diego Lobo. And here's Kaylee. She's feeling a little sad because she just uh, divorced. However, her face doesn't look sad. It just looks kind of mad, but she's got that resting mad face, which, you know, we gave her. So not surprised. Over here is her boyfriend. Oh God, I'm more of her goth with just the worst taste. And over here is Angel, our nanny. Kaylee, my girl, uh, you know, your boyfriend's over here. Maybe it's time to take him out and do a fancy schmancy proposal. Kaylee, do you want to? Kaylee? Kaylee? What have you in the comments asked for the background lights to be either gold or green? I tried gold and it did not look good. So green it is. We're whacking some green for some money, baby. Whoop, whoop. Let's travel. Oh no, she's feeling very sad after her divorce. She's very broken hearted. I thought she'd be relieved, but it's all good. Best Sterling's calling. She just wants me to give her a thousand simoleons. Absolutely not. This is not the give simoleons away to other people challenge. This is the gold digger challenge. She's like, how else am I supposed to dreams come true? I don't even know know you lady i already know you she's really excited that she gave birth though so i don't blame her all right what is like the spookiest place that she could get engaged to mortimer goth oh i know let's go to forgotten hollow is there there's not a park but you know what that's fine we'll just go to his house I believe it's in Willow Creek, right? Yeah, we're just gonna go to the goth residence. <gasps> His ex-wife is still here. Ba ba ba. Okay, maybe we'll go to the Magnolia Blossom. We'll go to the park near his house. But look at these two lovebirds. Cash and Chanel have been sent to daycare. Our favorite place to send them. All right, why don't you two go here together? I want it to be picturesque. It's time to propose, Kaylee. Oh, there's a child walking by. She's like, ahem, will you? Mortimer Goth, take me, Kaylee Pijashme, me, uh, Lobo, to be your lawfully wedded wife. Yay! She's engaged! <laughs> Kaylee Lobo shows signs of the greedy and lover personality types. Ain't that the truth? So I'm glad that they're now engaged. We're taking this a little fast, but not like, you know, they've been dating for a little while now, arguably like while she was still married, but you know, it, it wasn't working out with the other guy, right? Why is her eyes? Oh, whatever just happened in Kaylee's eyes filled with tears. Oh, she's like crying of happiness. She's like, I can't wait to get more money. 40,000 simoleons, you know, that ain't bad, that ain't bad. We got a ways to go though. We're gonna ask him to move in together before we get married, which she hasn't done yet, but she just needs to get out of Diego's house, I think, while she's planning the wedding. I think it's a normal thing to ask. All right, so she's gonna move in and so is her baby. Also, can you see that? They have 45,000 simoleons. Oh my gosh, what an upgrade. Boom, we leave them with nothing. We 
we doubled our money in this marriage. Oh yeah, baby, let's go. I almost want to keep Bella Goth there and just see the drama unfold. So we're gonna do it. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this. Look at Cash. Actually, Cash kind of like fits right in. How is Bella? Bella's super sad from the end of the relationship. So is Mortimer actually. He's really sad, but he's also kind of happy. Kaylee's feeling vibey though. She's like, look at all the new money that I have. Uh, let's go see the babies. So the, here's Deck and Goth. And then here is of course Chanel. When we leave the house though, we're not taking his kids with us. I'm just saying that right now. I'm not, I'm not gonna take care of his babies. But I really do think that they need a bedroom for the babies. I'm thinking maybe this piano room that's honestly kind of ridiculous. You could put the babies here and not have it be its own room. Is it a good move? Maybe not. Is it a move? Yes. Okay, this works. I know it looks bad, but Kaylee, she's not gonna stay in this house. This is not gonna be Kaylee's house. There's just a wall and there's just storage. This is storage. This is just a weird fixture of the house that we don't talk about. Oh my gosh, there's so many kids all of a sudden. You know, I really should have thought through this whole like having kids for every generation thing, but in my mind it was perfect sense because you know, how would you argue that they keep giving her all the money when she leaves? It just makes sense. Maybe we move the sun down here into this room with Cash, and then we move the babies upstairs because to be honest, have the babies as far away as humanly possible from my girl. You know, I feel like she would love nothing more than to have the babies be absolutely out of the way. I just now realized that because his ex-wife is still in this house. I don't have a place for her to sleep either. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm in another episode of dream home renovation, having to flip and figure out where all my sims are gonna stay. And then the babies go up here. And honestly, instead of that, we're gonna put a bed. And this is where <laughs> that <laughs> his ex-wife can sleep with the babies. I wanna give her like the cheapest bed. Yeah, the cheap bed. It's probably gonna be super uncomfortable. And they like pulled it out of a closet. All right, so this is the, the house renovation that our girl <laughs> has made. That's Bella Goth's bed. We are really doing Bella Goth pretty dirty in this. <laughs> Serious. Okay, great. All right, now we got to call a nanny because the babies are crying and we got to have our nanny come. So he's crying at his mom. Oh, she's playing with him. Wow, a maternal instinct really, oh, she's showing off for Bella Goth. She's like, yeah, she's super happy. She's engaged. She's got a new baby. She's feeling close. Can I come see the baby? I really want to meet the new addition. No, you cannot. I did not forget that time that you came and gave a gift to my husband instead of me. Oh my gosh, she's got a hundred thousand simoleons. I knew she had it in her. Let's add some fun little landscape touches from our girl. Kaylee doesn't have great taste yet. She's working on it. Every, you know, person that she meets, she gets a little bit better taste. Yes! Milestone complete! Kaylee has completed the great landscape. Kaylee has completed home renovator of the mansion baron aspiration. Okay, so we're at three of four. So we just need a home worth 350,000 simoleons and we're only at 205,000. Oh my gosh, Alexander's like really mad. Unwanted sibling, I am not surprised. I which, I wonder which one it is that is unwanted. How's Cash? Oh, Cash. He's like, I'm trying to go home, but there's all these stairs. Mom, why would you take me here? Why would you take me here? I miss having elevators. I miss dad. I'm like, he's not your real dad. I miss him anyway. Deacon is very hungry. And so is Chanel. Where is my nanny? Where is she go? Like, where is she? What are you doing, nanny? Excuse you. Take care of my children, please. Bella's like, I'm going to, I want to go to bed, but the, everyone's crying. Okay, thank goodness the nanny is helping. I'm like, come on, nanny. What a rush. The boost of adrenaline is making Cassandra feel amazing. Should she firmly embrace her astonishingly sculpted arms and she likes fitness? Yeah, sure. Go for it, Cassandra. Let's give her a compliment and be like, oh, hey, Cassandra. It's so nice to meet you. I'm uh, your dad's fiance. Oh, she, actually, she was like very nice about it. What if they like bond and they become like best? We gotta like kiss his hands. We gotta be like, hey Mortimer, how you doing, babe? I'm just introducing myself to your family. Okay, here's Cassandra again. Oh my God. I really, we gotta flirt with him in front of Cassandra. Hold up. <laughs> 
No reaction from Bella. She's like, uh, I've accepted this weird situation. Oh, wow. We're just like working out. There's no like gym. I didn't bring her her yoga. Yeah, no, I did bring her yoga mat with her. Girl, I got you. Go practice your yoga. I know you love it. We got to watch Bella and Mortimer though. I, you better not be flirting with your ex. Wait, that'll be perfect though. Because if he gets back with his ex, then we can break up with him. Weirdly, Bella's vibing. Okay, wait, I am super curious. I need to know who is Deckon's father. <gasps> It isn't from, I knew it. It is from Raj. I flippin' knew it. Okay, now I feel kind of better about breaking up this marriage. Oh, it's almost Cassandra's birthday. I guess we'll celebrate it. Uh, and then it looks like it's Chanel and then the two kids' birthdays. Well then, well, of course we're gonna celebrate their birthday then. But I think our wedding will be tomorrow, which it looks like a very hot day. Is Cassandra asking me this question? She's asking me, I'm not sure what I wanna be when I grow up and all my friends just seem to have to figure it out. How do I figure it out myself? That's kind of cute. Like, I feel bad that she's having to ask uh, Kaylee because Kaylee's like probably not a really good mentor. However, okay, she's gonna go for it. Pick something you like. Oh, Deccan did age up. All right, good job. I wanted to let you know that I am got engaged. I'm getting married, Cassandra. Oh my gosh. Ah, Mortimer's breaking the news to his daughter that he's engaged. She's like, okay, dad. He's like, I'm so happy. Oh my gosh. Meanwhile, Bella's feeding our baby. She's like, don't worry, Bella. I called a nanny. And then she's gonna just go to bed. She's like, good night. <laughs> the baby's still crying as she walks down the stairs to what used to be Bella's bedroom. Both of the goths are feeling flirty. This is bad. She wants to woohoo with someone. <gasps> I wonder if they'll woohoo. What is he doing? He's gonna go nap. Cash is asking for Nanny. He's like, Nanny, will you please feed me? I need food. I need sustenance, Nanny. Bella, what are you doing in here? Oh, she's picking up Cash. Oh my gosh, is she gonna feed Cash? She is, that's very sweet actually. Aww. Bella's being actually such a good mom. I have a lot more respect for Bella now. <laughs> I hope you guys don't hate Kaylee. I feel kind of bad for like not taking care of the kids that much. I think she'll be more invested when they're teenagers. Like she seems to like Cassandra well enough. I kind of feel bad keeping him in this high chair, so I'm gonna let him out. I'm gonna have Kaylee wake up and let him out. I cannot believe the nanny has been leaving my son alone. Like, it's so rude. I think she probably will like Cash the best, though, of all of her children. Deccan's kind of sad. Why are you sad? Because <sighs> he's left alone upstairs with no one to hang out with him. That is super sad. Oh my gosh. Why don't you like wander at least. So that way you can learn how to walk enough to go down the stairs to meet up with everybody. Cause I feel very guilty that he's up there. I blame the rest of the family for abandoning their son up here. You know what? It's not Kaylee's job to take care of not her kids when the mother is still in the house. <gasps> Look at Cash carefully going down the stairs like a champion. You know what? I kind of forgot that she was gonna get married today. She's at work and the kids are at school. Maybe it's the perfect time to get married. All right, wake up Kaylee. It's wedding time. Why don't you go uh, try out outfits? Let's get let's get your outfit together for your first big wedding. It's wedding time, baby. So she, for her formal dress, it looks like that. I love that formal dress on you, sweetie, but we need a wedding dress. I mean, this one's pretty to die for. I'm not gonna lie. She will be getting married quite a bit. So we do want to give her like a different dress. This is her first wedding dress though. I do, I do have some CC wedding dresses too. And then I have this one. That's obviously from our not so berry, although it looks amazing on her. But I really do kind of like that black and white. I think she looks incredible in this. All right, so let's do her makeup for the day. I'm thinking I've, I've got this new um, CC like lip gloss that I think would be really nice in like a red, or we could do like a very dark, vampy red lip. I want to like love one of the looks, but I just don't love any of them yet. Then in that case, maybe we should do like, like a much more pronounced lip and we'll do like a fancy hair. This one's very posh and it kind of goes with the dress. This one is so dramatic. Maybe we should do this. I like that one a lot. And then we can do this like beautiful veil that I downloaded as well. She also could wear like a big hat. It is a sunny day. <gasps> She's giving me the stepmother from the parent trap vibes. And I kind of love this. 
this as like, this is her summery wedding look. This outfit is not screaming wedding to me though is the problem. It's supposed to be fun. I like having weird weddings, I suppose. So we'll just go with it and we'll have white heels. We should give her like a ring. Yeah, cute, 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 cute. Okay, so she's got her engagement ring. And then for her everyday look, we will give her maybe a brand new one. I'm gonna say she'll probably want an all black look. It seems like Mortimer is into skin tight dresses considering what Bella was rocking. Oh, that is simply ostentatious. This one's kind of nice. That one's that one is the same as that red dress for her hot weather. I do like that a lot. Then there is the same dress that Bella wears, but in black. That could be kind of funny. Oh, or we could do that. Oh, she likes that. Okay, let's get a dress to go with those heels. I forgot about these heels and I miss seeing her in them. Impulse decision, we wear the little black dress. So she still has this look from her former husband, but now she's got this one as well. So there we have it. Uh, there's uh, Kaylee's look for the wedding. I didn't even look at Mortimer's look. I'm I'm gonna be excited on the day. You know, it's gonna be like kind of a bridal thing where I don't know what he's gonna look like and then he shows up in it, right? That's what we're going for. What are we gonna do next? Wedding, location, location, location. So let's go to the managed world and I need to download a fabulous gothic wedding venue. Also, if any of you guys wanna make wedding venues for this series, you can make them on the gallery and use hashtag Kelsey Gold Digger and uh, drop your favorite wedding places below because I'll probably be needing them pretty, pretty frequently. Oh, okay, so wow, there are a lot of gothic weddings. This is so cute. Look at this gothic wedding chapel. Oh, wow. It looks fantastic. Ah, oh, this is gorgeous. Okay, I definitely think they should get married here. All right, we'll place it here. We're replacing our next door neighbor's house, which no one lives in there, so it's fine. I can't wait to tour it. It's gonna be perfect for our gothic wedding with the goths. She's gonna become a goth and have a goth baby and live in the goth house. We are going to plan the wedding event. Also, I am so curious what more thinks of our girl, like if he, he finds her attractive. So let's actually look and see. Perceived as very attractive, okay. And th th he thinks that they're soulmates. That is adorable. Does he think his wife is more attractive than her though? <laughs> yes, he does. He thinks she's extremely attractive. We're inviting Cash, but not Deccan because he's not either of their children. We're gonna invite Jenna Thorne because we're probably gonna marry him next. Jeffrey Lambground because he's in the Rich People Club. Miko because we know her and we're like kind of friends, but we're like frenemies now in my mind. Actually, I kind of want to invite our two ex-husbands just because they never gave her a wedding so they should see how she, and then Victor Fang. We're gonna hire everybody, spare no expenses, and we're gonna go to the Gothic wedding chapel. Here we are at the day. Oh my gosh, she's in a pink wedding dress. What are you doing with black shoes? I would never. Also, she looks, looks like she's looking over here at Thorn Bailey, who's in a very fun outfit actually. So coming attractions. We're gonna change into her beautiful other outfit. Yes. She actually looks fantastic. Look at this queen. Oh my gosh, look, Akira looks miserable. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. Is her other ex not here yet? I guess he might not be here or he didn't come. Okay, so it's just a little awkward with our house right there, but we go in here and there is the fountain. Oh, beautiful. On the right over here is like a bathroom. Love that for us. It's a little gross. And then there is a graveyard, which is fantastic and dark. And then that leads up to, oh, what is this? A Zebo. And then here is the beautiful Gothic chapel that we will be getting married in. Oh my gosh, is it gorgeous? Okay, here's where we get married. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. It's literally perfect. We got all of the religious paraphernalia that you could ever want. I'm sure Mortimer kind of suggested this location or Kaylee suggested it for Mortimer. And then, ooh, up here is where the organ is, of course. I hope the organist shows up and plays the organ. And then up here is just like a romantic game get ready sweet, I guess. I don't know. I kind of wish there was like a bed up there. You know what? There's not a bed, but what if there is a shower? All right, fabulous. Okay, well, it looks like the wedding guests are all here. So why don't we welcome everybody? Thank them all for coming. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Thank my ex 
for coming. You know, seduce our current husband. Thanks for coming. She thanked him for coming and he's like, it's my pleasure. I don't know why you invited me. Oh, is he mad? Who's she? <gasps> I think she gave a sexy pose to the wrong guy. I met her to give a sexy pose to Mortimer, but she gave it to, oh my gosh, smooth apology. That's definitely my bad. Oh, and there's another, our other ex, Diego, who's like, what? Uh, this child is crying. Why are you so upset, buddy? Being left behind? Oh man. Oh my gosh, he's very sad. About his divorce? You're getting married today. And he's mad because his spouse flirted in front of him. She's just a flirt. What can we say, okay? Why don't we go check on our toddler since he's like making such a scene? See, he's back to loving her. Everything's fine. Where, where is Cash going? Cash, don't splash in the water, okay? She's like, are you okay? Do you need hug? Okay. I'm, she still has to be a good, a good mama. Kaylee, no! She's D. Oh my gosh, she's so sad. Okay, we need to make Kaylee happy again. Oh my gosh. Okay, Kaylee, run over to your husband. We need you to stop. Okay, there she goes. She's flirty again. Get yourself in action. She's like, this is just a lot of emotions to take in today. But she's feeling romantic. She's liking it. Okay, blow him a kiss. There we go. Back on track, baby. Back on track. Okay. Wedding time, people. Let's go. Okay. Let's all sit together in the pews. Okay. Here we go. Everyone's coming in, kind of. All right. So let's... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We need to get everyone to go here. Please come down, Mortimer. All right. Okay. Go married to Mortimer Goth. All right. Everyone's here. Everything's fine. Please watch my marriage. Okay. Come here and sit. Go sit over here, please, Cash. Cash is like, I'm trying to come to the mom's wedding. Let me in. Let me in. And there they are, the magical duo. Our girl is looking incredible. I, I regret nothing about her outfit for this ceremony. Mortimer Goth is really feeling her. Everybody's watching, especially her two exes. Oh, watch me get married in a proper wedding. This is what I deserve. Baby Cash is standing back here. What a beautiful ceremony, it says. Everyone's watching. Akira is not taking his eyes off of her. I feel like he really feels like she might've been the one that got away. Oh, that's kind of sad. But they're getting married. And they had their first kid. No, they did not. They kissed before. They have kissed. It's almost Chanel's birthday. Good job. Chanel's birthday is tomorrow. Are we going to get some drinks? Well, they just got married. So maybe she wants to kiss someone. So why don't you go kiss your husband? Go sweet talk him. Poor little Cash. You know what? I'm going to go talk to Cash because I love that kid personally. I feel like she would actually maybe love her children. Come here. I'm going to pick you up. Come here. Can I go do stuff with you? She's going to carry her little beaner around. He's sad. I actually kind of want her to scope the surroundings. I want to see if she's attracted to anyone in the room at her wedding. Okay, wait. She's attracted to Akira, Victor Fang, definitely attracted to Thorn, uh, Mortimer, and Joffrey Landgrab. This is absolutely hilarious. I love that. Everyone's cheersing to her. Go get your drink, sweetie. It's your wedding. You deserve a drink. Thank you. So classy. Oh, she needs to pee. Do not have an accident in the middle of your wedding. Go to the restroom first. I will. I refuse to let you have an accident in your wedding. It looks like her husband is here. Oh no, she's hysterical. Why are you hysterical? Go check on your toddler, please. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. Don't be. Okay, she's very playful. That's better. That's better. I don't want her to die at her own wedding. I don't know who. I guess Chanel would have to take up the challenge. Are you okay, sweetie? He wants a bath. I don't think we can give you a bath here, sweetie. I'm so sorry. Oh, poor baby. Oh wait, she did it. I don't know how she just did that, but I'm happy that she did. So let's go grab Mortimer and say, you know, we're married. Let's have a little sneaky woohoo. Okay, uh, Thorn is getting hyped. He's like, woo, let's go. And she's like, wanna sneak away? I saw a shower upstairs. Oh my gosh, why is everyone coming upstairs? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh no, 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 no. Everyone came upstairs because I accidentally made the whole group go upstairs. All right, the woohoos are gonna happen. We're just gonna move it to this outdoor toilet here, okay? All right, go woohoo with Warner in this shower, okay? No, don't check on your child right now. He's probably fine. Okay, you know, he's really bad. Kaylee's gonna go try to make another baby. She clearly does not need to be making more babies because, oh no, 
he walked in on them about to woohoo and kicked him out. Excuse me, sir. This is my wedding. I will woohoo where I want. Oh my gosh. And Victor Fing just peed himself because there was no bathrooms. Oh, and what is going on with him? Are you a vampire? What is your deal? Oh my gosh. What is happening? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Victor Fang has just died at our wedding. He is just, oh my gosh. And the Grim Reaper's here. What is happening? Oh no. <gasps> this is so bad. Oh my gosh. Don't throw a tantrum. Oh my gosh. All of our guests are coming out to check out Victor Fang, who I think died of embarrassment because he peed himself at our wedding. Even this rando who was not invited to the wedding, who's just a fan of our guest. Do not witness this death, my child. Okay, go eat your food. Yes, good boy, Cash. Stay inside. Oh my god. The horror. The horror. Oh my gosh. You know what? This is convenient though. There's a graveyard right here. They're calling me to let me know Victor Fang has passed away. Yeah, I'm aware, dude. I'm right here. I feel very bad for my child. I'm hysterical, which is really bad, honestly. Um, we're gonna try for a baby with Mortimer when we get home. Let's, uh, let's take everybody home. Let's go take our baby home. He needs to be taken care of. This wedding was a complete disaster. In, you know, more ways than than one in my sims challenges i don't think i've ever had a worse wedding but she seems pretty proud of herself so at least we're married right i guess that's fine all right everyone is back oh my gosh my poor sweet baby angel cash you need so much i feel like really bad that she has not really mothered him whatsoever and he's just in such a bad place i think what we're gonna do is is gonna try to really quick take care of cash we're gonna try to mother our our son really fast Mortimer got a dancing skill. He's very happy. I love how both him and Kaylee have zero moodlet having to do with the death of Victor Fang at their wedding. Kaylee, why don't you worry about woohooing with Mortimer, okay? Oh my gosh, there's Chanel, our baby, which I totally forgot about. It's her birthday tomorrow. It's fine. Oh, you said your name was Cassandra? Cassandrin? Oh, it was Cassandra. Oh, yeah, it was nice to meet you. What is my ex-husband doing calling a teenage girl that is my stepdaughter? Daughter. That is weird, okay? I doubt he's flirting with her because she is a teen, but it's still weird, bro. Stop trying to be in my life. Bella is sad. Oh, because of the end written to the relationship. Look at the poor girl. Maybe don't cheat on your husband, Bella. Not that there's any like good party in this situation. Pretty much everybody is like messed up. Can we take a pregnancy test? I want to see if you're pregnant. Please be pregnant. Please be pregnant. Please be pregnant. No, dang it. All right, we'll try again tomorrow. Alexander has discovered something under his bed. Oh, no. Oh no, Alexander, I'm so sorry. You know what? I'll give you a little nightlight, okay? Don't ever say I didn't do anything for you, okay? Oh, the most fertile day is coming up in zero days. Okay, well, it's today. All right, let's go. Let's go, buddy. There they go. Oh my. All right, they're gonna have some woohoo. We're gonna see if she's gonna be pregnant this time. Okay, take that pregnancy test now. We gotta see if we're pregnant. Please, 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 please. No? Okay, what the heck? Why is it always so hard for her to get pregnant? I don't understand. I'm gonna go try to woohoo again with Mortimer and keep seeing how long it's gonna take. Oh, Mortimer starts working an hour. All right, let's woohoo with him really quick before we'll be dressed up like his ex-wife. He'll be like, oh, my ex-wife had a similar outfit. All right, let's make this baby, baby. Take a pregnancy test again. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my gosh, she's still not pregnant. All right, we'll try again tomorrow. We're gonna go actually take care of Chanel. We haven't taken care of her yet. She, I think she likes her babies every once in a while. She just doesn't wanna deal with them all the time. Oh, we're very sad because of witnessing the death of a friend. So cute. <gasps> she wants to snuggle Cash. That's sweet. Okay, we'll keep that. Okay, and then maybe go in here and then like take a photo with somebody. There you go. See? We're almost best image ever. She's getting more and more followers. We're gonna take some selfies in our new living room. There we go. And then let's sell them all. All right, how is our fame now? Still very low. It's Chanel's birthday. Okay, well, we have to celebrate her birthday once our husband comes home from work. Oh my gosh, good for you, Bella. You got promoted. She looks terrible. Kaylee, meanwhile, is like, what do you need, son? My perfect baby angel. How are you doing? Love you to pieces. You're just so cute. You. Look at you. Look at you, my sweet angel. You need playtime? Okay. She loves all the fun stuff with Cash. 
Akira Kiba wants to come over to hang out. I mean, okay, I'm not gonna stop you. There he is. What is he doing? I'm just so curious why he's here. Maybe she'll be like, celebrate marriage. She's gonna be like, aren't you happy for me that I'm married? Cash is sad. Why are you so sad, buddy? Oh, look at him. He's playing inside with Alexander. Alexander's so cute. I kind of wish they could be brothers forever. I feel like they would be very cute brothers. Mortimer only brought home 300 simoleons. Clearly Bella's the breadwinner in this relationship. We should have seduced Bella. What were we thinking? But we're gonna throw a birthday party. Oh, Mixologist needs a bar. Okay, Kaylee's making some changes. And she says, out with the smarts and in with the... Out with the chess and in with the... Out with the chess and in with the cheers. I got there eventually. <laughs> Perfect. I love that there's not an entertainer for children, but there is a bar. Sweet baby Angel Chanel, it's your birthday. We're gonna take you downstairs because you're the birthday girl. Technically, it's other people's birthdays too, but it's mainly your birthday, Chanel. Actually, let's age up Chanel now so that she can be a part of the party. Happy birthday, Chanel! Okay, Chanel aged up and she's fussy, dang it! But look at her, she looks like she's ready to go to Star Wars. It's weird, but she's nice and blonde like our girl, so that's kind of fun. Okay, so we'll be checking out our new baby Chanel and making her just as beautiful and perfect as her mother. She's got some cute little eyes, a little face, looking very cute. Let's go into skin details, give her some little bobby lashes. Cute, okay. I wanna give a little baby blush, maybe. Cute, okay, she's already looking adorable. It looks like she has some shorter hair. I don't love the hair that they put on the baby, so let's give her maybe some, oh, that one's really cute. Yes, let's give her that hair. And then for her clothes, this is just absolutely not acceptable. Perfect, oh my gosh, how cute is this little girl? I, I can't. I love Chanel, I think she looks absolutely adorable and a perfect addition to our family. So happy birthday, Chanel. <laughs> Okay, so Chanel is the perfect baby for our Kaylee. I feel like it's so perfect because she has like a boy and a girl. You couldn't have planned like planned that better if you tried. Since the rest of the birthday party would just be for the other characters, I'm actually gonna leave this one here because Chanel's the one that I cared most about. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to comment below baby names for the future uh, babies, especially for the future goth baby. And make sure to keep liking and watching these videos if you want me to keep doing this challenge. And until next time, guys, I'll see you around the internet very soon. <laughs>